and welcome to this very last minute.com uh, Chronicles of Aguna podcast. Just a little short one here, uh, following on from the news today that it appears Arsenal have agreed a fee with Atlanta United for Miguel Almiron, the Paraguayan attacking midfield player. Um, joining me on the line is Sheldon Baker, an Atlanta United fan who goes to the games and, and can provide us with a little bit of insight into what it is that we're getting if indeed these reports are true. Sheldon, tell us a little bit about the player, perhaps his strengths and weaknesses and, and, and what you've seen from him uh, in the time that you've been yeah. watching him. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, like you said, you know, he's an attacking midfielder player, um, very left-footed, so he plays mainly on the left side, but he really can play across the midfield, left, right, middle. Um, he, he kind of reminds me more of a Di Maria's type of player with little flashes of Mares, maybe Robin, obviously not that quality, more of a Di Maria mold, to be honest with you. Um, he's a player that's very energetic, crafty, skillful, very good first touch, wonderful technique, and you know he's very quick with the ball, and off the ball as well. Um, and with that speed, he's really not afraid to really take on, on defenders. And the guy can dribble, keeps the ball mm-hmm. close to his feet, got great control, uh, not afraid to shoot. Um, but I think one of the things I really prefer from a positional standpoint from him is when he drops in the middle of the pitch um, you know, to receive the ball. Uh, he plays more of kind of a, a number 10 role, to be honest with you. That's where I think he fits the best. Um, we like to receive the ball, make something happen. Um, he's always looking for the ball wants the ball doesn't hide from the ball which I love um, mm-hmm. and when he gets he really uses his speed his creativity and vision to, to make something happen and when he doesn't have the ball he's always moving into space um, to provide options for teammates um, and I think that, that's kind of an underrated part of his game he's, he's always trying to do something to support the team and, and, the, and the, his, his teammates um, one thing with this guy, or for me anyway, I love players with exceptional work rates. Yep. And Almiron is one of those guys. I mean, he doesn't stop. He's got a great engine, incredible stamina, um, and his work rate, especially defensively, is, is brilliant. Um, he has an ability to, to really track back uh, and intercept opposing passes um, in order to spring counterattacks. I've seen him you know, be on the one side of the pitch and track back all the way to the corner flag, chasing down a ball and getting the ball back and then creating another counter. I mean, this guy chases everything down. Sounds like a, mean, he sounds like the dream player, Jordan. He sounds I'm like the dream you, player. The I'm thing is, now, he, go for it. He never, he never, he never gets tired, this guy. It's unbelievable. Well, it, it sounds good from an Arsenal supporter's uh, perspective because, of course, we look like we're set to lose Aaron Ramsey. This guy sounds like a, a natural replacement for him. I know there are a lot of Arsenal fans out there that would have preferred that maybe we went out and bought a wide man based on the fact that that's something that we lack at the moment. Uh, mm-hmm. You know, but... Miguel Almiron sounds like a, a great prospect. I had a, look, a little look into his history today. Um, and he's, he's scoring goals at the moment, isn't he? He is averaging about one in three for Atlanta United. And that's really good for an attacking midfielder, wouldn't you say? Yeah, exactly. I mean, last year was his first season of year. And I believe he had nine goals, 14 assists. And, and trust me, he could have more goals than that. Um, the way we play, we've got, you know, play three up, you know, really one man up front and then we've got Elmer on the left and Barco or Valalba on the right. But Martinez, who is our striker, you know, he's breaking records over here on the MLS on the striking side. So Elmer could get more goals, but I think he's kind of feeding Martinez a lot up front. Um, this year, 2018, I think he's got 12 goals already, um, 14 assists, and we still got three games remaining in the season. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then we've got playoffs, right? Uh, I would not, like, like you said, I wouldn't say he's an out-and-out wide man. Um, I think he's more in the mid. And quite frankly, if I'm looking value for money versus a Ramsey, I would take Elmer on all day long. Yeah, I mean, it sounds like a steal. And, and Aaron Ramsey, obviously, you know, we, we know about the problems in terms of the contract. We know that the club mm-hmm. didn't want to lay out the sort of money that his representatives and, of course, he were asking for. But, 
you know, that's that's water under the bridge now. Let's look forward. And, and Almiron sounds like a great prospect, just 24 years old as well, uh, which mm-hmm. is, you know, it means he's got plenty of time ahead of him. It seems as though Unai Emery is looking at the sort of South American quarter in uh, for the type of players that we've been linked with. You know, a lot of the players we're, we're currently looking at, as reported anyway, are from that region. And it'll be interesting to see how he, he fits in. I think going to the MLS first it is a good thing. I think, you know, obviously the English is the first language there, which is which is great. It will help him in the mm-hmm. transition if indeed he does end up in North London. Um, Sheldon, thank you so much for joining me. And we're just going to put out this quick little episode for our listeners to get a bit of insight on, on Almiron. And we thank you so much for your expertise and I uh, hope you enjoy the rest of your holiday, my friend. Thanks, my friend. I appreciate it. Have a great one. <laughs>